But I'll tell you some uh, interesting facts about a prison that you guys. I know. You, I know people that watch these podcasts. They, you know, they 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 want to hear the crime and they want to hear the stuff, but they also mm -hmm. want to hear like, like Orange is the New Black. Is it really like that? Yeah. And there is a level of insanity in prison that I didn't know existed until I started reading my 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 Facebook posts. Because I was writing every week what was going on. And some days I was super sad and some days I was super happy. But I remember one day I'm going into education and I'm like, let me see what classes these guys are teaching. This is a prison. So they're teaching scuba diving. Okay, it's one of the classes. What? <laughs> Sailing is another one of the classes. And sea navigation. Now, we don't have any body of water anywhere in this prison except the toilets. Uh, they are teaching CDL license, how to drive a truck, but there is no trucks to drive. And then uh, that yeah. real estate investment, bingo, and credit management. Wait, oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. What about the um, what's it when you grow plants? Uh, horticulture. Uh, horticulture. 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 So. Oh, we got. It's okay. Just do it. We can keep going. So I'm thinking. Okay, who's teaching sea navigation? And they tell me, well, it's this guy that used to transport kilos of cocaine Drug smuggler. from the Bahamas. I'm like, okay. Nice. And uh, who is teaching the truck driving class? Well, it's this guy that got caught with a bunch of kilos of heroin in the truck. I said, Drug all right. And uh, who's teaching real estate? Well, Matt Cox. I'm Fraud like, guy. oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> well, I might as well teach the credit class. I got it. Yeah. So I remember writing home going, this is insane. Who decides to teach scuba diving? And by the way, these classes were packed. And there was no tank, no regulator. These guys are just telling you, like, listen, this is how you do it. Yeah, yeah. And people are taking notes on this stuff. And, and it was just it was just insane. Then you get these gangsters knitting and making sweaters yeah, and making I stuffed love that. animals <clears throat> and uh, and you're making him, teddy bears. And you'll hear him talking got, like, hey, listen, motherfucker, that, that nut's too tight, man. That nut's too tight. And you're like, <laughs> what are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, they are. And they pull the nut of the guy. And the guy's like, man, I'm going to kick your ass. And I, and I was like, this is, this is something is, is Something's off something here. is off in here. <laughs> or you go to commissary and you'll hear the guy going, what? There is no strawberry ice cream this week? That's <laughs> fucked up, man. <laughs> like, and I remember telling people, was that part of your sentence? I mean, like, did the judge tell you, like, listen, you get you're going to get strawberry ice cream every week. If you don't call me, yeah, yeah. I'll take care of that. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's weird. At, it's very weird. At the medium, there was a guy who he was like 17, 18 years old in Colombia. He had murdered like 15 or 20 people and for like Pablo Escobar. And um, the feds at some point picked him up and he got a life sentence and he was the he was the altar boy or deacon or whatever you for the catholic mass at the at the medium had killed like 15 or 20 people well nice guy the guy that was teaching parenting was remember the spanish guy who was doing life and who was teaching parenting wow <laughs> yeah what the hell so it was it's, a, it's, it's a, insanity it's yeah. insanity it's insanity you mentioned that uh, when you went to the shoe for six month, months, it had an effect on your psyche. Yeah. Yeah. I got out and uh, I have issues sleeping because you you are so used to the light being on all the time and people banging on the door every half an hour because they, they want to know if you kill yourself or like they, they, was a, the biggest question they ask you on every prison you go is, do you feel like you want to harm yourself or others? And you're like, mm -hmm. no, nah, man, I don't feel like I want to harm myself. I, I feel like I want to harm others, but not myself. <laughs> And uh, so they check on you all the time. And then you are kind of confined into four walls and you get used to that space. Like I'm used to little spaces. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to big spaces. And, uh, and, and crowds kind of like get on my nerves. Mm -hmm. And small talk. Like I used to be a small talk guy. Like to commit fraud, you have to small talk. You mm -hmm. go there and you're like, hey, so how about the game? And how about the weather? <laughs> and now I go to like meetings and I'm like, these guys are a bunch of fucking idiots, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, so it's weird. Prison changes you, and, and it changes you in all aspects. You, uh, any of you guys have girlfriends or married or whatever, yeah. or boyfriends? I mean, it's 2021. I, uh, I'm that's, married. That's popular now. Uh, dude, imagine eight and a half years in my case, 13 on Matt's case, not getting laid. I mean, I'm assuming Matt went 13 years not getting laid, but <laughs> eight and a half years. That's a big Matt. assumption. Yeah. 
And that's a big assumption. I, I used to tell the guys, like, when they call their girlfriends, I said, ask him, have you been unfaithful? Yeah. Well, I have too. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, dude, you don't think about those things. Eight what? and a half years not touching somebody or somebody not touching you. And it's like, you start, like, l disconnecting from all those things, you know? Mm -hmm. So then you get out and it, it's, it's, it's readapting is weird. Are there any things that you can, like, put your finger on or, like, point to in your personality that changed specifically from the six months in solitary? Like, is there anything about that six months that you know that changed something? Yeah, dude. Uh, I learned to talk to myself. But I think I'm talking to other people. So, like, the other day, somebody was giving me, like, an hour and a half ride. And I'm sitting in the car like this for an hour and a half. And she goes, dude, what the fuck? You haven't said a word. And I said, oh, my God. But I was talking. I just wasn't talking to you. But I was having, like, a full-out conversation with myself. And I'm nodding. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So I find myself doing a lot of, like, talking mm -hmm. to myself. Mm -hmm. Do you, you ever know? do that? I thought, don't do most people talk to them? I, like, I talk to myself all the time. I have arguments with people. I'll have arguments. Like, if I'm going to argue, argue with Jess, by the time I get to her house, I've had that argument about 30 <laughs> times. She, I've answered every... The, I've, I've overcome every objection. Every objection. Over, uh, all, I have rebuttals to everything she's going to say. So by the time she actually gets an opportunity to start the conversation, it's over. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to win the argument. I've had it 30 fucking times. You're done. I win. This is what we're doing. Yeah, that's normal. She's, she's Okay, thank you. Okay, I feel good about that. I feel better about that. But yeah, go ahead. That everybody has... What? That she's gonna win the argument? No, she she, it's yeah, no, she it's does. That that she internal, does. Di uh, internal dialogue, I think, in general is important. Yeah, is yeah. I mean, that you you do a lot of like introspect. I guess you live your life over and over and over and over. Mm. So you get like these snapshots of your life when you're sitting there and you're kind of thinking. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. You, you just walk out of it. I have issues sleeping in a big bed. So sometimes I I, I, I sleep better in that a couch. That took a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it took a long time for me to sleep on a... Dude, I go to the couch and I'm like, too, man, this is perfect. Weird. You know, the big bed, uh, I don't sleep well because you, you're like rolling and it's like, man, this shit's endless. Mm -hmm. You said that at one point, you said that when you talk about yourself to people in the prison that you say that like, I'm crazy, man, I'm crazy. Don't fuck with me. I'm crazy. Is that is that really you, or was that just sort of like a, a personality or a hat you were wearing? I think you no. I think you go a little crazy when the, when you've done some time. You 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 go a little crazy, and you don't know you're crazy. Crazy becomes normal. Like I was, I, we were talking about it the other day. I mean, somebody, let's say he gets whacked with a lock on the head and he's on the floor bleeding. Your first thought is, let's help this guy out. Our first thought is. Shit, we gotta take a shower, man, because they're gonna close the showers. Yeah. We gotta yeah, get some I ice. Need, I need to get ice. I need to get some now, coffee. That, I can to... you get the radio from that guy? Because that's my fucking radio. So it's yeah. it's you the are. Guy, I gotta not... put it. I gotta put out. I gotta put in a cop out. I literally guy got stabbed one time before they locked us down. I had filled out a cop out for his room and put it under the um, counselor's door. <laughs> so we're literally the, the next door day when the counselor comes in, they're all locked down. Why? I don't know. But Cox wants his room. I mean, I did. I got his room too, by the way. Go ahead. And yeah, well, yeah. you ask, is the guy coming back? No, yeah. no, he seems to be in a coma. All yeah. right. Can I get his room? This guy just, <laughs> got, this guy go just got stabbed up a little. He's fine. Can I move to the bottom bunk? <sighs> so so you that you become a little, that, that turns you a little crazy. And especially when you get the new kids coming and there are new inmates and they don't know, you, you kind of like don't have patience for that kind of stuff. You earn your stripes, mm -hmm. you know? And you do some crazy things. I, I mean, I, Matt did his own set of crazy things and everybody does their own set of crazy things in prison. Mm -hmm.